Time now for a look through the international headlines we're following at this hour. Let's connect live to our Eunice Kim, who's standing by at the news center. Eunice, tensions are escalating in Ukraine. Ukraine's armed forces retook a small airport as Kiev formally launches its anti-terror operation against pro-Russian forces. That's right, Jinju and Ukraine's military are said to be on their way to those flashpoint cities in eastern Ukraine, causing some to worry the country could be on its way to civil war. Here's Connie Lee with more. Heavy gunfire and fighter jets were heard and seen, swooping over an airfield in east Ukraine. Authorities say Ukrainian armed forces retook a military airfield from pro-Russian forces on Tuesday. It was a first formal military action by Ukraine against pro-Russian militants. The main purpose of these actions is to protect Ukrainian citizens, to stop terrorism, crime, and attempts to tear apart our country. Witnesses say Ukrainian troops stepped out of military helicopters in a heavy pro-Russian area of Kramatorsk. Despite the gunfire, though, locals have not confirmed casualties as reported by Russian media. And around the same time, a similar operation of Ukrainian army troops and special forces were deployed in a nearby city of Slavyansk to take back control of government buildings there. Russia says Ukraine is on the brink of a civil war and has asked the United Nations to condemn Kiev's latest military operation. However, the U.N. Secretary General's press office said that Pan Ki-moon spoke on the phone with Russian President Vladimir Putin on Tuesday and requested that all parties calm the situation. The Secretary General is gravely concerned by, by the disturbances currently ongoing in, in eastern Ukraine. He has called on all parties to do their utmost to try to de-escalate uh, de-escalate the situation and avoid, uh, avoid further violence. The U.S. also spoke out, saying Ukraine's government has a responsibility to respond to provocations in its country, but added that Washington was not considering sending arms to Kiev. Connie Lee, Arirang News.